when we start talking about this uh, panel, it was a long time ago, probably a year ago. I thought, well, at the time it was a timely topic, but as I said, today is even more timely. So. Uh, the timing is appropriate because the Fed, and this is all very public, is in the middle of a review of our monetary policy framework. First, interest rates are a lot lower uh, than they've been historically. We're pretty close to zero. Second issue is though, while we're close, as I said, inflation has been persistently below 2%, which is our target. Third thing that at least I worry about is that financial market participants and perhaps business people and perhaps actors in the government seem over-focused on the Fed as the only game in town. We find that our usual fiscal and monetary and financial stability policy tools are in settings that are not primed for action. The Fed funds rate setting of monetary policy is close to the zero lower bound. The risks from climate change to financial stability are of a magnitude that present one of the largest headwinds to economic growth. How meaningful is a new inflation targeting approach in a world in which the Fed is not able to even get a bullseye on its inflation goal? And at least my take as a, after 35 years in central banking and Having joined Central Bank in the same year as Ken Rogoff wrote his article about the conservative central banker, <laughs> or published it, uh, I think there will not be a revolution, only an evolution. And a lot of it will be at the margins, but we know in economics at the margins it's important. Creating it as an independent institution was precisely to protect it from prevailing political wounds. And yet in, a, in an environment in which our Congress is seemingly paralyzed, and an executive is not uh, restrained. Uh, it must be very frustrating not to be able to express your views publicly whilst certainly knowing that these views are very much uh, in our mind. We need to send a clear message that monetary policy is only one of the tools available to policymakers. You know, we need to message humbly and not create unrealistic expectations about what monetary policy can achieve. Uh, one of the silver linings of low rates is it gives fiscal policymakers more room to temporarily help in downturns, although we would still need to put ourselves in a path toward long-run deficit reduction.